so we're going to set up a 8-inch Celestron telescope to do hyperstar imaging tonight. We first remove the diagonal and the eyepiece, and we replace that with a counterweight. Okay. Now we're going to remove the secondary mirror and put it into the hyperstar secondary mirror holder, which is the cap that keeps the hyperstar lens clean. Simply remove the outer ring that's holding the secondary mirror on a Hyperstar compatible telescope. The secondary mirror comes out, insert it into the holder, put the original ring back on, and that safely stores your secondary mirror. Then insert the Hyperstar lens. The key here is you thread so you run out of threads, but you don't apply any tension. You do not need to tighten the Hyperstar lens at all. You simply want it seated to the bottom of the threads. That's it. No tension. Then we attach the CCD camera. Tonight we're using a Starlight Express camera. We've removed the standard inch and quarter nose piece. Attach the camera. Again, we do not need to tighten it up, just need to get it seated. Now, the Hyperstar camera's orientation can be rearranged by loosening the three nylon washered screws, and we're going to put the USB cables down. We will now attach the USB cable and the power cable. Power cable. And the USB cable. We'll be controlling the camera with Maxim DL software. And if we separate our cables so they're at right angles to each other, you'll get a nice diffraction pattern uh, in your images. This can be done with Velcro, a rubber band, several little ways to do it. So I'm gonna attach the USB to the laptop. And now we'll start our first deep sky astrophoto. We'll go ahead and select this a M42 or the Orion Nebula. And we'll just point the telescope to that target. So the first thing we should do is get a little more precise focus. We'll do that by selecting a subframe of the full image. And we'll just select this star right there, and we'll start that exposure again. Here's our exposure now, and we'll extract the color. It's a one-shot color camera, and we'll convert to color. Just the histogram. And there's our Orion Nebula. You can even see a hint of the running man. So let's do a little bit of math on this. You're going to push the red slider of your histogram to the left hand side off of the white. And we're going to bring the green all the way down. And we'll go up to process. And we'll do a simple stretch. We'll do a log scale, screen stretch values at 16 bit, and that'll make the image, the brighter stuff dimmer and the dimmer stuff brighter. It's pretty good to, to do with the Orion with a large dynamic range. So, here's a single 25 second exposure over Oracle Road, traffic, Circle K 150 feet away lights in front of Star Zone. 